Time now to look at the success of another BCC graduate with our Alumni in Your Community segment. Hi, my name is Diane Sylvia. I'm a graduate of BCC class of 1986 in nursing. I grew up in the South Coast area uh, in the northern part of New Bedford. I went all my life to Catholic schools. Um, I should say prior to starting school though I did uh, live a couple of uh, years in Quebec City. So uh, that was my first language was French. So I learned how to speak English when I was a child. Um, but after that, I, I lived most of my life in New Bedford. Um, and I went to St. Anthony's Grammar School, high school, and um, then I went to a Florida Diploma School of Nursing uh, after my high school years. I attended that diploma school for two years, and um, I ended up with a significant knee problem, which caused me to have to take a siesta for a little bit. And when I went to go back, they were closing the school, so I could not complete my uh, diploma school nursing as a registered nurse at that point. I took my license as an LPN and worked at St. Luke's Hospital uh, for about 10, 11 years. And then um, BCC was opening up their night program being a parent of two children, single parent of two children, I um, had to find some other way to go to school. So having a night program was perfect. Most of the people in the night program were more adult learners. And um, so it was, it was really a good surrounding. Um, some of the people I knew from the past, or I had worked with in the past. So, you know, we, we supported each other. We were more like a team. But the instructors were excellent. Um, some of the instructors I had known from working with them at the hospital when they were, came in with students, but um, they were very supportive and you need that as a single parent. You need, you know, uh, uh, people who are supportive and understanding that um, you have a situation that is not as flexible as you want it to be. But uh, I did get through it and, and I did very well and uh, it's, you know, it's really helped me as a start to my move forward uh, in, in education as well as uh, health care. After BCC, I started um, once again part-time going to UMass Dartmouth. At that time it was SMU. And um, I clipped programs. So BCC's foundation in nursing was excellent that I could clip many credits into the um, the, bachelor, the baccalaureate program in nursing at um, SMU. And once again, it, it changed over to UMass uh, Dartmouth now. So it was near home and that, you know, that did help as well. From St. Luke's after 23 years, um, there was a lot of, uh, you know, instability at the hospitals. They were right-sizing, if you want to think downsizing, right-sizing. Right so there had been several um, cuts in the hospital over the years. And so um, I had the opportunity to move on. I was um, given an opportunity to go to an insurance company. And in that insurance company, I would be doing medical case management for workers' comp. And that in particular insurance company, which was Travelers, uh, was in Middleborough. And um, from there, I was offered a position by one of the supervisors who had moved on and to a place where I had worked with my partner here um, in Newton. I wasn't too fond about going to Newton, but I loved it there. It was a great place. And then once again, a person brought me on to another place. I went to work for Harvard per Pilgrim. So basically, I think I've only in interviewed for one job in my lifetime, <laughs> which is bizarre, because I kept on being brought on you know, by people that knew me and asked me, just like this position, Mike, my, uh, my uh, partner, ended up bringing me here. Best Doctors, uh, the corporate company does, um, we, our goal is to improve quality of care. And basically, we, they do that by interconsultations. It's an international firm. And um, they do interconsultations throughout the world. And basically, what they try to do is uh, connect people 
um, who have been given a diagnosis or want to find a doctor that's appropriate uh, for their particular condition will call us. And my particular facet of this is I work in New England specifically with um, insurance companies that do workers' compensation. I still, are, I still am in the workers' comp field. I'm a director of clinical operations. I have nurses in different states that work um, to, they do a form of patient advocacy for the injured workers for the cities and towns of New Hampshire, cities and towns of Massachusetts, as well as the Associated Industries of Massachusetts. So I have two children, they're both in their 30s now, and I have six grandchildren, and they're up there. <laughs> but. Um, both my children um, have, um, they're, they're well accomplished. Uh, my son does HVAC. My daughter, well, she's a stay-at-home mom now, but she did work for the phone company for years. And um, they, um, you know, the, their value is, is that you have to work hard. You have to work hard to get where you're going. And education is very much a part of that. And um, my son, once again, studied HVAC. My daughter did go to BCC in clinical lab sciences. So, you know, it's really important that education, you know, regardless, many things come and go, but your education always stays with you, no matter what. It will follow you throughout your lifetime.